Hey everyone, what is going on? So the Nexus 5 came out in 2013. Looking around the body, you can tell that this phone isn't perfect by any means. It's got scratches and scuffs all over the place, but it's a four year old phone, really what do you expect? But let me tell you this, this is probably the best looking Android phone in the history of Android phones or basically almost any phone. It's just so simple and like the circular headpiece was just so good to look at, but it confused me because I thought it was a camera for the longest time. Turning on the phone, we're presented with a full HD display, so it's 1080p. It's pretty sharp, but since it's a Nexus, you're able to root it, and you can even throw in a custom kernel on it, and you can easily modify the temperature of the colors and whatnot. You can even make it look somewhat of a Super AMOLED. Obviously, it's not gonna have like deep blacks or anything, but it, you can make the screen look a little bit better. I'm also running a custom ROM on Android 7.1, but the sad thing is it officially got discontinued at Android 6.0, which is Android M. It's got some glitches and stuff, because it's not really supported by Android 7, but it's overall not that bad. Considering this thing came out almost four years ago, it's really not that bad or unusable by any means. But the overall speed on this phone is still pretty good. It has a quad core processor clocked in at 2.2 gigahertz, which isn't a speed demon by any means, but if you're interested in this phone right now, you're probably looking into saving money and you don't really care about the speeds, but overall it's, wait, wait, wait a second. Dude, where did you get that shirt? Yeah, you. What, what is that, like Nike or something? Oh, Adidas? Okay, I was close. Man, has this ever happened to you? Like, you're watching a video, you're scrolling through Instagram, and someone's using some dope camera or wearing a dope shirt, and you just want to know, but you can't really ask them because they're, like, famous and they probably won't respond back. Well, check this out. I just created a new website that's probably the greatest website ever. It's called letsfindthat.com, and pretty much what we do is just that. Think of it like a directory. You can explore the items that other people have already wanted and wanted to find. So there's a bunch and bunch of items already on the screen that you can look through and you can buy if you want to or you can submit a find yourself and have us look for it and here's the best part you don't even have to make an account or anything you just like type a brief description and maybe post a link of the video or Instagram or picture or whatever and we will post what we find on our home page within 24 hours so we don't spam you or email you stupid junk because well we don't even have your email so like how do we do that and all the items that we post are linked straight to Amazon so you can just check out there and you don't have to waste any more time and link your credit card and stuff it's all straight through Amazon it's in like a beta right now but throughout time hopefully people will start using it and we'll find out more errors and whatnot and it's updated every day so you can go through there and see like some new items that you probably won't know that some of your favorite content creators use I'm super excited for it go ahead and check it out let me know if there's anything I can fix on it and yeah that's pretty much my plug let's just get back to the video yeah the speed on this thing is still pretty good now here's the bummer it has a 2300 million power battery which is pretty sad it has like wireless charging but if you plan on using this phone for a while then you might want to bring a charger with you or something standby time is pretty solid and since it's running pretty much stock Android it won't be too bad but on heavier usage days it probably won't finish up the day to be honest the cameras apparently weren't good on this thing but I beg to differ I think they're actually pretty decent they're not like the greatest cameras in the world like I wouldn't trade a DSLR for this thing but for everyday shooting it wasn't that bad but I don't know why I heard like the camera wasn't that good or the camera on Nexus phones weren't that good. The front camera is 1.3 megapixels but I'm not thinking you're gonna shoot like a family album on a front camera. So is the Nexus 5 worth it in 2017? I say this all the time but dude yeah I think it is still. Like it's so cheap. I got mine for like $70 and it still has a bunch of life left in it and you can even root and modify this thing so easily. There is a huge development community behind this phone so even if it isn't your daily phone it would make a pretty dope backup. And that's pretty much it guys i hope you all enjoyed the video add me on all the social networks you see across the screen do not forget to check out letsfindthat.com i'm gonna say that as much as i can so you guys actually go on it and submit something if you want us to find it check out some of my other videos as well that are probably on the screen i love all of you guys and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video bye everyone <laughs>